everyone talks about love. But the only examples I see are hate. Everywhere you look. They say to throw your love out there and make a splash. Maybe it changes something, maybe it doesn't. But I believe, eventually, that love ripples back. Vince. 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 Hey. You told Steven you were going to be his groomsman. You committed. You committed. Steven's the groom's man. You've got like an hour to get yourself cleaned up. <laughs> I'm not going. Yeah, champagne is going to be for the hour. And Bills, you can keep that. Lena Carlisle, she's a maid of honor. Still not going. Is that the line you use to make girls disappear? Because I think it's working. So are you happy? <laughs> I just wish mom and dad were here. I wish they could see this. Yeah, me too. Well, you look beautiful. Smile. <laughs> Stephen and Lily, today you begin your journey together. Just think about that word, together. Together means to pick up the slack when your partner is slacking. At times, Lily, you must be his comfort. And Stephen, you need to be her strength. Becoming soulmates is a process. It'll be open. Right now, I don't have the strength. I need you. So this is what you call love? I don't know anymore. Well, maybe you should figure that out. Pronounce you man and wife. Come on, kiss her! Oh, that made it! Yes, Steven! Mazel tov! Namaste! Hey, oh, what's up, man? What's up, man? You'll never beat me to the booze, bro. I'll give it here. <laughs> Why else should we come to weddings? Oh, I don't know, fellas. Maybe for the vows or watch people fall in love. <laughs> What's up, the club? Now I have a question. Uh -huh. Who here is getting hitched next? Dude, Vince or Manuelo, man, I am never oh. <laughs> doing that. <laughs> Marriage is a workshop oh. <laughs> where men work and women shop. What I'm saying, DQ, is that women are like ice cream from DQ, okay? They're really good to taste, but if you hang on to them too long, they melt into a sticky mess. <laughs> 
That's really gross. <laughs> a woman's love is like champagne. It's sweet. And the more it matures, the more nourishing it is. <laughs> oh, Aha. Speaking of maturity, happy birthday, Vince. Yeah. Oh, hey. Let's party, guys. Oh, my God. Dirty, dirty. 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 <laughs> Dumb. Well, you're too much of a dog. Look, she's old enough to drink. Why is Vince staring at me? Probably because he thinks you're a fox. Or he's just being a creep. That's what I meant, Tara. The other one's cute, though. Uh, don't waste your time, Tara. They probably just over there talking about fishing. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Mm. Also, she's with Devin. Uh huh. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. That's true. Men, that is all they do is fish for women. Catch and release. Oh. <laughs> yes, Kadasha. I didn't say cry baby. Speaking of baby, what is it? Don't know yet. No ultrasound? Probably another boy. <laughs> hey, we gotta go pick up Kaisen. All right, go wait by the car. Okay. I'll see you soon, babe. Okay. Listen, do me a solid favor. No running around girl to girl. All right. Be a decent guy. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Love hey. you, no all right. Love you too, man. Alright, I've got an idea. Wait on me. Let's no drink all the champagne. We've already gone for two hours. And then shots to celebrate Vince's 30th. Hey! Take a shot! I'm in no matter what, dude. Seriously. No matter. I still love you, Vince. No matter. Lena, you want some champagne? Um, I should really get back to my friends, but entertaining conversation. S speaking of entertainment, um, um, do you like stage plays? Only if it's Shakespeare. Hey, that's perfect because he's like my favorite, and the boys is putting on Romeo and Juliet like the next couple months. Cool. So, what are you doing Friday night? Dinner and a movie. With me. Me and this Michael. I don't see a ring. Come on. Hey, 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 Stay away from my girl. Babe, let's go. What's wrong with you? Hey, is she, is she going to be okay? He, he wasn't drunk, was he? Is he drunk? Will you go check on her or somebody? You okay? Vince! Hey! Babe. Vince! Valentina? Hey! I haven't seen you since... Our last um, date. Where you broke up with me. I go away for two years and... I mean, come on, Vince. I, I called you probably a hundred times. And I, I left you messages. I never forgot about you. I'm really sad you left, actually. Where'd you go? Uh, a 
my way. I think I'm in love with you. This is what you call love, Vince. So this is what you call love? So that's all I am to you? Just a body? No, baby. An object? Maybe you're more than that. You're... I can't believe that that's what you were thinking about the entire time we were dating, wasn't Please it? don't pout to me, okay? Pouting, maybe that's why I didn't return your calls, you know? I guess the only real pleasure I got from you was our kiss, and you refused to go to the next level then, the same as you The next now. level? You're the one that cheated on me, remember? So why did you even come here tonight? Happy birthday, Vince. Sis. I can wait. Don't answer it. What's up, Vince? Hey, Steven. Lily. The fact is, I did, and I'm, I'm sorry. You deserved a perfect day, and, and I messed that up. Anyway, I think you're a wonderful couple, and, and I wish you the best. And a hearty congratulations. Well, thank you, Vince. It means a lot. Hey, and stay away from my sister. I would tell you happy birthday, but it's come and gone. I waited six hours, Vincent, because you promised you would be here at eight and we would celebrate by going through your photo album. Yeah, well, the wedding went a little long, so. And that makes it okay to not keep your word. And how am I supposed to feel when you're out late at night when the cartel is causing havoc in the city? Save your drama for your llama, mama. Have you ever talked to a llama? Hey, Mr. Llama, my son won't keep his word. What should I do? Really? Yeah, that's funny. Llama, your breath stinks. No matter what good advice you get, there's Vince. Hey, Mom. Don't give your drama to your Mama Llama. I should have been here. I just want peace, you know? Hey. I know you miss her. We all do. Just remember the importance of a promise, okay?
bless you. Llama. I love it when you're late. Best job site rule ever. Vincent! Watch this. Hey, what's up, Roxanne? You foxy lady, you want some donuts? Hmm? They're fresh. 15 late days this month. I want my today so special. I have more important things to do than worry about if income poops like you are going to throw up on time. You are fired. You can have the box. Help to quell in the master with the waltz. Roger that, babe. Not you, babe. Thank you, man. Uh, and you're not a charming prince, Vince. <laughs> Whatever you say, Foxy Roxy. All right. Yo, 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 what's up, Nicole? You ready to get something done? Okay. Laurel's dog take a dookie in your oatmeal. You know what? We're gonna talk about this. You go on dates, you kiss the girls, you have your little one night stands, but you ain't loved a single one of them, have you? Come on, man. You know as well as I do, the chicks, they like being snuggled, you know? And That's not, not like you do it. You self-centered hoe. Why'd you have to make a move on Lena, man? You know why you did it? Because you lust and you call it love. And you see her, she's young, she's pretty, and you just want to use her young body for your pleasure, is that it? <laughs> right? That mindset is what turns good men to rapists and molesters. Is that what you want, Vince? No. I didn't think that's what I was doing. Yeah, well, you don't think. Before you claim to love someone, you need to find out what love is. Grow up. Vince. What's up, man? Have you seen the movie Twilight? Nope. All right, so there's this vampire guy, right? This skinny vampire guy who's totally into this chick. She's all like, mm, I'm not sure. And the vampire's guy is like, I'm sure. She's like, okay, so then they start making out, right? And then werewolf guy shows up. He's all like, bro, I'm totally gonna steal your girl. Okay, okay, Ben, 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 ben just save the backstory. Give me the punchline. Take martial arts with me. Look, <laughs> they're private lessons, right? I mean, they're technically not legal. I mean, she's got some unorthodox. Whoa, 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 she? Not legal? Yeah, man, sign me up. Dude, Devin is oh. gonna come after Dude, you. Dude, Ben, Devin has nothing to worry about. Is this the same Devin that we're talking about? But whenever guys try to steal his girlfriend, he turns into Hulk smash. He's not gonna let you forget about this. And Alicia can turn skinny vampire Vince into a slippery, lethal weapon. You'd actually stand a chance against werewolf, dude. What? I didn't say anything. Okay, Ben, look. I'm never going to take martial arts from a woman. So, why are you here, handsome? <clears throat> you know, I just 
here to learn how to take down Goliath and win your heart. Thou fair Juliet. <laughs> Shut up. This class is not for faint-hearted Romeo. Or is it David? I'm confused. This class requires more than just your pretty face. It requires commitment. Well, he is committed. Alicia. Yeah. He's got something to fight for. Oh! I, I do feel quit it. No. You are selfish. But you pay me good money. And you're gorgeous. So, let's begin. Whoa, whoa, Alice. Alicia. Whatever kind of hot chick. Look, I don't want to hit girls. You already hit on me. What? No! I uh, was just... You did. Kind of. Okay, sort of. Look, point is, I don't want to hurt you. You think you need CPR? Because I could totally use the practice. Hey, buddy. You're taking this vampire look way too seriously. What? You say you want to fight off Goliath. David's downfall is Bathsheba. Ow. To listen to your message, press first message. Hey, Vince, it's the Quell. Sorry I was a little rough on you yesterday. You know, I'm serious about what I said, man. I love you. I'm just looking out for you. And if you're ready to learn what love is, come meet me at the church. Man. All right, brother. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, hey, brother, brother. Hey, can you, uh, can you spare me a couple bucks here? I, uh, sorry, sorry, man. I gotta go. Why marriage? Hmm? Why start a family? We all know divorces are increasing, right? Divorce rates have actually gone down because fewer and fewer couples are actually getting married. So many people are convinced that marriage will eventually end in divorce. They won't vow in marriage at all. I mean, with Devin. all the good advice on social media and Bathsheba. The internet, can you blame them? I mean, if we spend as much time investing in loving someone rather than seeking to be loved, man, our relationships would thrive. How many of you have divorced parents? See, people fall in love and they get married, but 10 years and two kids down the road, they somehow fall out of love? Real love is not blind. It's all seen. It sees all of the faults. It sees your bad habits, the imperfections. It loves anyone. Infatuation is blind and fragile. When things aren't going perfect, it disappears. Or when tragedy strikes, it vanishes. Well, she'd still be alive if you hadn't given her everything she wanted. She was just a kid. You forced her to do the great Leon because you forced her to do everything else. I am done with you. Get out! Huh? Well, it amazes me how easy it is to walk away. I thought I loved you once. Perhaps I never did. Get out! Most of the time, when tragedy strikes a family, a divorce follows. And those life-changing events, they can serve to either destroy a marriage or strengthen one. It's not Bits, 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 come on, man. It's Evangeline, isn't it? She was my everything. My rock, my conscience. And now she's gone. So you just thought babyface Lena could somehow mask your pain? I guess. You know her dad died? Sister just got married? Just imagine how she feels living yeah, alone in that apartment right? just trying to make ends meet. Baby, baby. Look, I can't have what you guys have, okay? This perfect little family. Why not? Because I can't protect them. I couldn't protect Evangeline. Stop it. Evangeline loves you. She is looking down on heaven trying to help you, brother. 
this thing with Lena, I need you to just view her like a sister, okay? Build a, a, a foundation of friendship. Wait, what? What about Devin? What? He sees you two hanging out. He is not gonna call it friendship. <sighs> Listen to me, okay? Every society fails when their protectors become predators. You don't need to try to find someone. You need to try to be someone. Be a protector, brother. And then they'll find you. Be a brother. 411. Not the other way around. All right? Yeah. Be good. Love you, brother. Love you too, man. You know, it's company policy not to give customers this kind of attention. And that's why I'm not going to play. Thank you. This is so sweet. And um, I really need to keep this job. Okay, I guess I'll see you Friday night. Are you stalking me? Stalking? <laughs> you prepping for Christmas? Company policy says I have to be nice to customers, but I think management might agree you're an exception. Um, in that case, I think I'll have... What are you doing here, Vincent? I'm hungry. For food or punishment? Forgiveness. We don't serve that here. Well, I guess I'll just have your... You know what? Surprise me. Coming right up. Thank you. Careful. Plead is hot with displeasure. Wow, what a surprise. What you ordered. Hey, Lena, wait. Look. I am so sorry about the other night. It may have been the drinking, I don't know. What I do know is that you're a hustler. You've got these two jobs you're working with classes in between, and with Lily getting married and moving away. You know, it's gotta be hard to pay rent. I just wanna help you out with the things in life, you know? What do you know about my life? I know what it's like to lose somebody. I'd like to be there for you, you know? Kind of like a brother you never had. A brother. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good night. Uh, I'll serve you now. You just did. He seems like a keeper. What a deadbeat. What are you thinking? Maybe forgiveness is on the menu. Prosecutor. Detective, you're late. Working on the cartel case. It's getting worse. Two more homicides last week. Catch them and I'll see they get life. The issue I'm having is they're well-armed, well-organized, and they're getting recruits. You have an entire police force at your disposal, Mr. Clark. What's Look, taking you? Bringing me one name is not enough. The one I've interrogated refuses to give up the leader. I don't want pawns, Mrs. Draper. I want the king. And no one will go up against him for fear of getting killed. That includes you. So how does this work? 
you first. I'm going first. Yeah. <laughs> Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Is it for me? Ooh. Well, since you mommy's pampered little girl, <laughs> right. and since you never got over your princess phase, well. I actually thought you might like this. Maybe you could use it for balls or dances. Mm. Maybe Scott asks you to hoko or prom. I hope he never does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Vince, I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Just like you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Thanks. Oh, and there actually is a dance coming up. What? And I will wear this on one condition. Oh? That you come as my dance partner. <laughs> <clears throat> as thou hast wished, my lady. <laughs> Thank you. No peeking. Okay. And... Whoa! What? No way! There's no way you can afford that. You guys did this, no? You guys did this. Uh, that, that was all her? I knew you wanted to learn, so I saved up. Oh my gosh, you're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. I'm speechless. Okay, I'll learn it on one condition. <laughs> Here we go. And what is that? You help me write a song. Okay. As thou hast wished, Monsieur Weirdo. <laughs> One about us? Deal. something you can control, Vince. For me and Lily, it just happened. She'll feel that way after the honeymoon. It means to plant trees under whose shade you don't expect to sit. Love is taking care of the poor. Why the sudden interest in love? Got a girl on your mind? Yeah, maybe. Mostly I'm just curious as to why people would have pets for their family. I don't get that. Why not just have spouse and kids? Why do you have to have a whiny little pup? <laughs> then why not? I mean, pets are cute, and they don't talk back to their parents. <laughs> oh, except for my pet llama. <laughs> Look at this. Love, the total commitment to the spiritual growth of another person. Well, man, DQ, dude, I don't know what trap you got me in. I've been studying and studying and studying, and I cannot find an answer to the love question. All I find is more questions. I've always had feelings for people, but I've been asking myself, is love a feeling? And when you lose that feeling, how do you love when you don't love? Love is a verb. Love the feeling is a fruit of love the verb. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is kind of interesting. So love her. Serve her. Sacrifice. Listen to her. Empathize. Appreciate. Affirm her. Vince, come to my birthday party? Well, heavens, yeah, babe. What do you want for it, Big Tyson? Football and the blast fireworks. Wait, Ooh, what? That sounds fun. Hey, man, I'll blast some for you. You'll be here, huh? Like the last two years. Don't you disappoint my son again. I'll be here. Scout's honor, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mommy might give me a baby sister. 
Hey, come here, come here. Can you do me a favor, buddy? Heavens yeah, babe. Your sister is going to be like the most important person in your life. Always treat her like a princess, okay? Can you do that for me? Scout's on her. Yeah, that's my boy. So, uh, baby, when's dinner ready? It's in the microwave. Hot roast. <laughs> microwave. That pregnancy got you acting crazy. Don't be criticizing your wife's choices. You're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what is a queen without her king? Historically, more powerful. <laughs> 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 You know what? It's no time. I went to good. So I wanted to ask you guys, what's the greatest love story of all time? Easy. Romeo and Juliet. Wow. Really, Ben? Even Shakespeare said that was a tragedy. Dude, okay. <laughs> they were so in love, they couldn't carry on in life without each other. Exactly. You mean to tell me it would be love that prompts you to kill yourself if your wife died? No. Having one would. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> love goes beyond a husband and wife relationship. Agreed. When Kyson was born, I felt a love greater than I've ever felt in my entire life, okay? That's the love that Romeo and Juliet denied themselves. Mm, I felt the same way when my daughter was born. You? You have a daughter? You have a brain? Is she hot? No, you can't <laughs> date my daughter. What? Come <laughs> on! I take it you spent a lot of time trying to find your daughter? How long's it been? Years. Look, Vince, we've all lost somebody at some point. Whether through death or someone moves far away. But when two people truly love each other, they always find a way to connect. No matter what. Did you hear on the news that there's a drug cartel around here? Who's ready for some chocolate cake? Ooh, I love chocolate cake. You love chocolate cake. And you know what I love. I'm just saying, I mean, what have you ever done for chocolate cake? Do you call up chocolate cake? Do you want to help chocolate cake reach its goals? Surprise chocolate cake at work? Do you want to marry chocolate cake? Make nice little swirly vanilla chocolate baby cupcakes? Do well, cake. do not give me a sermon on love. I'm just saying there's a difference between loving chocolate cake and just desiring chocolate cake. I think Lil is like a ghost. Cause like everybody talks about it, but do we ever see one? Just think. Nice. Keep your guard up. That's six feet under dude. I hear you've been breaking hearts and chasing young girls, which means either you don't care or you know nothing about love. If it's real, it costs. It hurts. I broke the closest thing to your heart. And every time you hurt another girl, I'll break something else of yours. I understand if you no longer wish to continue our working relationship. Do you want to continue on this journey with me? Heaven's yet, yeah, babe. I love it when you call me that. Okay. Well done. You were right, Ben. Okay. He is committed. Mm -hmm. Is he single? 
So do I only get visits when you break a bone, son? I brought you a gift. That shouldn't be in here. How's your mother? Oh, bank wants to take her house. Really? You didn't say anything to me. Then again, she hasn't for years. So, how'd you break it? Oh, learning about love. <laughs> anything stick this time? Oh, that it's extremely painful. That makes your heart race. Mm -hmm. Yeah, judging by your heart rate, what's broken is behind your ribs. Lift your shirt, please. Maybe you're looking for love in the wrong place. Where else could I look? Oh, come on, Dad. What? I didn't say anything. Look, why can't I just come over and we have a beer and talk? I really do appreciate the offer. I know that you blame it for the divorce, but there's nothing wrong with having a beer or two. And there's nothing wrong with letting him into your heart. You know what? I don't need this. I made a mistake coming here. What's her name? As I have opened this beer at your suggestion, I hope you will open your heart to him, mine. Glad I'm a private doctor. I just want peace, you know? I guess the only thing I've really learned about love so far is it's extremely painful. Pain. The one thing we spend our whole life trying to avoid not expecting to grow. You walked out on Mom, Dad. You don't really have a lot of room to talk. I have made some of the biggest mistakes, yes. But I've also learned some of the biggest lessons, son. But you messed up. So you hurt. Why does it hurt me to actually attempt to love somebody? True love never hurts anyone. Longing hurts. Selfishness, jealousy, they cause pain. And love, love gets blamed for it. Selfishness says, what can you do for me? But love asks, what can I do for you? It's like casting love out and making a splash. Slowly, love ripples back to you. Pretty good speech. <laughs> you couldn't be more religious. More scientific then. Sure. Take your science. Prove me wrong. But son, studying about love will only take you so far. <laughs> Excuse me. And don't forget your prescription. Drugs? Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. Your hero, Shakespeare. And if it doesn't work? Increase the dose. Another murder in the city. The body was discovered earlier today in the downtown area. Detective Alfred Clark says preliminary evidence points to the cartel in this latest killing. According to authorities, hate crimes have risen dramatically, up 12% this year. The more chaotic people get, the bigger government has to be to maintain law and order. The and American people are only a threat to the idea of big government. It's called checks and balances, and clearly you've never heard of that. As a politician, my only interest is the American people. I represent the American then people. Then why don't you listen to Why them? do you keep interrupting me? To my daughter, Liz Searle Einstein, 
When I proposed the theory of relativity, very few understood me, and what I reveal now to transmit to mankind will also collide with the misunderstanding and prejudice in the world. There is an extremely powerful force that so far science has not found a formal explanation to. It is a force that includes and governs all and is even behind any phenomenon operating in the universe and has not yet been defined by us. This universal force is love. Love is light that enlightens those who give and receive it. Love is gravity because it makes some people feel attracted to others. Love is power because it multiplies the best we have and allows humanity not to be extinguished in selfishness. Love unfolds and reveals. For love, we live and die. God is love, and love is God. Love is the most powerful force there is because it has no limits. Each individual carries within them a small but powerful generator of love whose energy is waiting to be released. Do you have an apartment I can rent until spring? Who do I write it to? Grant Enterprises. My dear Lucer, maybe it's too late to apologize. But as time is relative, I need to tell you, I love you. And thanks to you, I have reached the ultimate answer. Mr. Abrams, 2 by 4 27 and a half. Don't you dare laugh. Go. I got a roll, man. Family stuff, huh? Yeah. I didn't know you had family. New tattoo? Vince. You should just worry about your little love story stuff, okay? What is the greatest love story of all time? Can I get her anything she wants on your dime? Yeah, I think that's what we kind of had planned, so. <laughs> I'll start with coffee. To answer your question, parental love or romantic love is the neurochemical reward for cooperation. Forget about the myth of love at first sight. If it's a feeling that's only stimulated by sight, it can only be lust. It's the day-to-day -day experiences. Well, yourself, I ain't aiming it at you. Actually, you are. I'm here to make Vince Lovell pay for his sins. I think we might be able to help each other. How do you know? Thank you, sir. But I just can't do it today. Uh, Paul? Look. You needed this at 27 and a half, sorry. please. It's gonna have to wait. Schedule. Lily, will you please let me talk? I can't just leave whenever I want. Roxy has us working overtime, all right? I know you were supposed to go out, 
and I'm sorry, but it's going to have to be rescheduled. The commercial in Boonville? Okay, what time? Or I'm just not going to be able to go, all right? You go shopping all the time, but all the stuff that you don't even need. Come on. You know what? Ah. No, no, I'm fine. You know what? I got to go. You have left early quite a bit the last few weeks. I'll be back to full time soon, I promise. <sighs> okay, be gone, nincompoop. Thanks, boss. What is it, Vince? Vince, hey. what is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, extension cord. Got yeah. a short in it. Um, yeah. I could fix it, but okay. I'd rather just buy it from you. <laughs> Two boxes of donuts. Great. Consider this your down payment, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Foxy Roxy. Tell me what's been bothering you. I'm your mother and I know when something's wrong and it's not a broken rib. So, what has you so stressed out that over the past three years you've aged ten? Whatever the case, I don't want to age as fast as you. And I don't know what to do about the bank wanting to take the house. Well, I've been saving up for a house of my own, but I've got a little bit in savings. I'll get it. I just wanted to say sorry for my meltdown at Stephen's wedding. And as a gesture of friendship, there's a small town north of here with a sweet lake and a bunch of cabins. I booked one. I just wanted to personally give you an invite. So are you coming? Dude, there is no way I am going. Hey, Devin. Showed up to this sweet cabin you were talking about. I don't see anybody here. Wondering where you guys are at. Anyway, give me a call. This here feller's the culprit? That's him, all right. Name's Amos. I don't like meeting this way, but your actions gave me no other choice. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's gonna be so good to finally see her get hitched. Okay, guys, just lower the guns. Let's have a nice little talk. Amos who? What are you talking about? Purvis, how come this feller ain't got the foggiest notion of what we're saying? It's him, Paul. Two years ago, I seen him dating our sister. Okay, let's get something straight. Dating your sister is something I would never do. Hey. Oh, okay. She may not be as pretty as me, but she sure ain't ugly. Purvis, your sister said the culprit looked like a bloated cow. This better looks like a starving... Don't say it. Don't say it. Llama. Paul, when we was in Springfield two years ago, I seen the two of them cozy in a blanket, and they kissed. 
Son, grateful that you're sheltered, but not that you're dumb. Come to think of it, I don't remember your sister talking to me about no marriage. Did you even tell her this fella is coming? Get your chores done and clean up. Come with me, young fella. Let me tell you a story. About 20 years ago, a man come into town with a baby, about her age. The man died when she turned six. She didn't have a ma, so we took her in. And as she grew, she got all determined that her ma was still alive and that she was gonna find her in Springfield. She went there to look for her. One trip, she come back all Twitter painted. Next trip, pregnant, a rapist. It's a problem in our world. I'd, I'd like to see this get fixed, but we never found the rapist. She kept the baby, of course. Her father's name was Mr. Valentine. So she took his name as her own with a little bit of a feminine twist. She's faithful. She believes God will bring her back to her ma. <laughs> She's going to Springfield next Friday. Do some more looking. Are you all right? Hey, hey, we ain't done. This ain't over yet. What do you want to do in the future? Honestly, I just want to find my mom. Honestly, I'd like to help you. Um, Vince? Yeah? There's something I, I gotta tell you. Hey, hey, it's okay. It's okay, uh, hey, you can tell me anything, it's all right. <laughs> Valentina, I love you, okay? Nothing's gonna change that. I'm... I'm pregnant. It's not what you think. Okay? What? You just... just let me explain the situation and, and what happened. Because it's a you lot... You cheated on me? No, I wouldn't cheat on you. God. I love you. You know that. What are you know you what? Doing? No, I can't. I can't do this. I, I. You can't do what? I'm sorry. I can't. Vince, Vince, come back, Vince. <laughs> Love is commitment, it's friendship, it's service, it's sacrifice. You did, so I will. Vincent? I rarely see you right. Wedding vows. You have a fiance? A girlfriend. Then who are you writing vows to? My future. Anyone? What if she's not pretty? I 
guess I'll serve her till she's pretty to me. And if she cheats on you? I won't let others' choices tell me how to feel. Who I love and when I love them is not up to them. It's my choice. So whoever I give this letter to, if she accepts, I will be committed to forever. No matter. Oh, what happened to my llama? <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Come here, come here! Hey, that rib's looking better. You going to the dance? With smooth moves like that, you should go. Hey, take Alicia. She's not a heartbreaker. Yeah, it's not really my heart I'm worried about. I like that a lot better going from D to A. Okay. I say we lock it. Yeah, me Good. too. Okay, cool. Good. We wrote a song. <laughs> yes! Hooray for us. Okay, so Vince, What's can up? you promise me something? I can. What's up? If one of us dies... Don't you talk like that. Why I'm, would you ever say something like that? I'm just that? saying that we can't control everything, so just hear me out, okay? Weirdo. Mom and Dad have always been super cool to us. So I think that we should make a promise that one of us will always be here for them. Hello? Jefe! Hey, no quiero testigos. I'm just passing through. No le disparas. No podemos confiar allí. Como dije, no quiero testigos. La para, mira. La policía está cerca de aquí. Si tú disparas a él, vamos a estar en problemas. ¿Me entiendes? You know what to do. No, no, please, please. Meddling our business again. I won't come back. And I'll kill you. And since the new guy seems to know you, you locate us again, and I will kill him.
No Lily? We separated. What? It wasn't all Lily's fault. I made mistakes too. The first thing he says to me is, you've been home all day, why isn't the house clean? Oh, no. I would have said, you've been at work all day, why aren't we rich? <laughs> Both demanded love from each other, but you weren't willing to give it. Happy wife, happy life. I don't know, I think it has to go both ways. Happy spouse, happy house. I mean, we can't expect to be pampered without giving a little bit in return. The lights, the music, the drinks, all of it. We were so focused on the event that we paid no attention to the vow. Weddings, they happen all the time, man. Marriages happen too little. And regardless of his mood swings, you need to find a way to be happy without depending on him. Yes. Yeah. Mm. My dad always said that a marriage was a reunion of two forgivers. You know what might make you feel better? Let's go dance. No, Devin? Devin out to get some real drinks. <laughs> so I got to spend some time with Lily, which was good because she's been going through a rough time. Yeah. But enough about my sister. How are you holding up? Okay. You ready? Okay, look, when I said that I would be your dance partner, I didn't say I wanted to practice till the wee hours of the night. I think that you should always be learning, Vince, and I mean, maybe someday, somewhere, you will use these moves. These moves? Yeah, these moves. Okay. Now, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. But don't mess it up this time. Whatever you say. Okay, feel the rhythm. Who knows, maybe the day will come when I can dance with her again. She taught me all kinds of dips and lifts and spins. What? And, yeah, yeah, she was good. <laughs> she Always wanted a brother to teach me how to dance. Wanna show me some moves? Me? Yeah. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. We'll catch Devin up when he gets here. Sure. It's really quite simple. Make sure you feel staggered. Hand goes here, so you can go which way I'm going. Now in dance position, and you just follow my lead, okay? And one, two, three, sorry about the chicken. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Let's dance. Gotta talk to you inside for a minute. It'll only be a moment. How's it 
pretty interesting stunt you pulled back there, Devin. Trying to force me into some kind of shotgun wedding. <laughs> I just want to know why. To protect Leah from snakes! <laughs> I told you to stay away! <laughs> Devin, we can talk about There's this. only one language you get! <laughs> I don't need to know how it happened. I just need to know that it'll stop. No activity, son. I'm sure you'll be fun walking, maybe jogging, but nothing else. Dad? Is Evangeline alive? I believe so. Her spirit. I have felt her a few times since she passed. Heard stories about angels. Ancestors. Even unborn children coming to help or comfort loved ones during hard times. I think God sends the ones who love us the most to be with us during those times. Devin? We need to do something about Vince. I'll pay any price to get him out of my life and away from my girl. Well, he did date my sister around the time she got pregnant. What are you saying? Well, what I'm saying is he got me ticked off. And for the right price, I'll stand witness against him. For what? Who did this to you? Mom, it's okay. No, I'll make sure the police get this guy. The good book says love your enemies. Do good to those that hate you. Pray for those who despitefully use you. It's no big deal. I'm fine. No, no, wait a minute. He's the victim. Ma'am, I will warn you, I don't have a whole lot of time, so if you make any kind of trouble, you'll be looking at an arrest of your own. Well, yeah, well, no, take me! Mom, stop. It's okay. It's okay. What are the charges? It's a Lowell. You're under arrest, under suspicion of rape. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Arresting criminals is one thing. 
Convincing the judge to convict them is another. That's why witnesses are so important. For example, there's a man, you want to call him a man, Vincent Lovell, who was recently arrested for rape. He <laughs> is soon to be yet another conviction on my ledger. And that man is going away. He's going to be locked up for a long time. And if I have my way, he's going to be locked up for life. Because it is important for the citizens of this city and of this county that men like this, <laughs> sorry, creeps like this are taken off our streets. Well, get up. For everyone's safety. We made bail. Get up. Time to go. I don't know why they're letting you out. I'm just going to see you right after the trial. It's important to get these criminals off our streets for the safety of the citizens of Springfield and all the Green County. She couldn't wait until after the trial. What is it with society wanting to paint people as criminals without any proof? Despite my protests, your friendly neighborhood prosecutor pushed for the judge to have this installed. Most of my career, you had to have a witness to the victim to be able to arrest and monitor an alleged criminal. Now it's just guilty until proven innocent. Look, you've been calm through this and cooperative, which is rare. Look, with all the hate out there, I'd rather be focusing on the cartel case. That ankle monitor is run by GPS. You have to be at the address that's on your file by 8 p.m. every night. Stay out of trouble until the trial. All this clears up. But listen, if you don't follow protocol, I'm gonna have to arrest you again. And it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna go to prison for a very, very uncomfortably long time. See you after the trial. Go on. Did you use some breakfast? I don't have an appetite, Dad. Thanks. Please tell me it's not true. It's not. Did you help the lady down the street like I asked? Yes. Why didn't you ever tell me about that? Hey, I'm sorry. How many more times are you going to actually make me apologize? Sorry's just not going to cut. Look, I'm taking classes to fix this. I'm taking AA. I'm taking anger management. And you're Before still you... not listening. But... No, I told you Vincent was just my friend. Okay. Truth is, I messed up. I'll do anything for you. You were there for me through everything. Now I'm gonna be there for you. Okay, that's enough apologizing for one day. find a way out. There's only one way out. Then we find another. You don't want to be remembered as a drug dealer. Really? You gonna put a label on me? The only label I'd have for you is friend. And at least I'm not a rapist. I don't know if 
you're there. God. Whoever you are. But if you're there. There's a lot of people out there that could use your help. I know it's difficult to work, but I won't let it stop me to get things done. And I just spent all my savings. You're fired. I brought you some donuts. No. Vincent. You are fired. And don't call me Babe or Foxy Roxy. Whatever you say, Mrs. Valentine. What? Your husband, Mr. Valentine, took your daughter when she was two. Somehow thought you'd never look in a small town north of here. He never told her what your name was, where you lived, who you were. And then he died. And the local neighbors, they didn't know who you were. So how could she? I know why you're firing me, Roxanne. Because apparently, I'm a rapist. You want to know who the victim is? Your daughter. She's in town today. Where? Where is she? I burned that bridge, too. Vince, what is this all about? I have nothing to say to him. I killed Evangeline. The two of you were actually gone on a date that night. Got up home from my own date where I broke up with my girlfriend. Let's come back. Evangeline! We're late for the party, let's go! Scott? Yeah, I know, I know. She's coming. I know, dude, I know. Vince, I'm so glad you're here. Can you please tell Scott that I'm not going with him? Why? He's drunk? Look, I love you, kiddo, but if I go tell him, he's just gonna be persistent. Okay, maybe you should tell him. Vince, 
He'll think that I don't like him. If he's gonna know that you don't want to go, you should be the one that tells him. Look, right now, I don't have the strength. I need you. You know Valentina told me that same thing? Vince, I need you. No, Ange, what you need is a brain. Maybe then you'd pick a decent boyfriend. Okay, he's probably cheating on you anyway. It's the going thing these days. Vince. Love never lasts. So this is what you call love? I don't know anymore. Babe, let's go! Yeah, well maybe you should figure that out. You know, I still love you, Vince. No matter. tried to mask my pain and my guilt, going to parties and drinking alcohol and hanging with loose women. I'm sorry, Mom. Dad. Son, when your greatest mistakes become your greatest ministry, grace has come full circle. Let him in. I know that you can't see me, but I hope that you can feel that I'm here. Vincent? Vincent, what are you doing? Vincent, no, put, put the gun down. Put the gun down. Vincent, this is not the answer. It's not your time. Vincent! Please! Help him know that he is loved. Lord, help Vince feel your presence. Vincent, no, think about Mom. Vincent, think about Dad. You promised!
Evangeline. Is that you? Yes. Vince, I'm here. Always been here. Do it. What? I didn't say anything. Do it. Well, this is the greatest love story of all time. Love never lasts. God is love, and love is God. Vince, come to my birthday party? Scout's honor. You'll be here, huh? It's an action, man. Selfishness says, what can you do for me? Love asks, what can I do for you? That ankle monitor is run by GPS. You have to be at the address that's on your file by 8 p.m. every night. If you don't follow protocol, I'm gonna have to arrest you again. And it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna go to prison for a very uncomfortably long time. It's no use. I mean, if we spend as much time investing in loving someone rather than seeking to be loved, man, our relationships would thrive. If it's real, it costs. It hurts. I'm in our business again, and I'll kill you. There's only one way. And since the new guy seems to know you, you locate us again, and I will kill him. Love is commitment. Friendship. He's going to Springfield for the next Friday. It's service. Where? It's sacrifice. You did. So I will. Detective, there's a blip on my screen. It's Mr. Lovell. He's probably leaving the state. I'm on it. Keep me posted on where he goes. All right, call me if you need backup. Olivia? Leon? I think Vince was trying to say goodbye. Hey, it's the well. I'm probably playing. 
coming son sometimes people aren't who you think they are his car all right there's something wrong with my service stay on the line okay where are you son well come on come on pick up pick up man use your help right now. Can you give me something? Could you give me a sign? Sometimes people aren't who we think they are. Where is he now? All right, now he's headed west on Traffic Way. No, he's not here. Olivia, maybe you should just stay there in case he comes back. I'll go ahead and check downtown. I don't know, just keep looking. How's your mother? Bank wants to take her house. Really? I mean, I've been saving up for a house of my own, but I got a little bit in savings. Got on my sights. Drop something. I'm following him. I don't think he's leaving the state. No way out. 
and there will be no fence-sitters on my broom! Shots fired, I repeat, shots fired! No, you don't want to do this either, Brick. I want this one. We lost connection. What? Give me his last location. Rick. You have no idea what to do. And my business. You don't mess with a cartel. Kill me! I think Jesus is waiting for Dance with me. Trust me. taught me. Listen, Vince. Save it, Paul. Vince, I have a son. Henry. He's four years old. I didn't even know he existed till a month ago. And now I have to take care of him. The framing wasn't cutting it. I know I shouldn't have got in so deep with these guys, but hey, I didn't hey, have a choice. Here's your chance to get out, okay? You can either selfishly run, or you can show some love for your city. And tell the detective who's on his way. Everything you know. Park Central Square. Guys, we gotta get out. <sighs> Choice is yours. That's. Just a cup. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. You ready to go? Sure. I think we should check Park Central Square. Well, how do you know he's there? Just a feeling. Yeah, keep on stepping, skinny. Come on, baby. 
Babe, come on. Babe. I, I, I want to drive. No, wait, uh, why? Wait, wait, what are you stopping for? Let's go, come on. So this is what you call love? Point still stands. I will be fine, okay? We will be fine. Babe, let's go! My dad lost his legs because my mom and I let him. Mom, he's like a drunk and no, I don't I'm want not. you to drive the car. You know what it is. It means to plant trees under whose shade you don't expect to sit. Love is a powerful force because it has no limit. The total commitment to the spiritual growth of another person. Love the feeling. It happens all the time. Actors become predators. They increase the dose. A divorce follows. Devin, she doesn't want to go. I told you, stay out of my business. Who I choose to care for is not your business. Lena, do you want to go with him? Yeah, but I want to drive, Devin. You're going to keep ignoring your fiance. Devin! Devin! Mom, it's his battle. Dad, wait. Stay down! Final warning! <coughs> Devin, stop. Excuse me? Uh, I won't let another sister die. Look, I don't know what you've dealt with in your life. I don't know what baggage you have. But whatever it is, let it out. Let it out now, let it out on me. Because if you lay one finger on her or at any point in your life, I'll see to it that you never see her again. Every society fails when its protectors become its predators. Learn what love is before claiming the love Lena. I'm sorry, Vince. Uh. Hurry. Vincent? He'll be back. <sighs> Dear Juliet, why art thou yet so fair? Shall I believe that unsubstantial death is amorous? And that the lean, abhorred monster keeps thee here in dark to be his paramour? For fear of that, I will stay with thee. And never from this palace of dim night depart again. Here, here will I remain with worms that are thy chambermates. Here will I set up my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars. Arms take the last embrace. And lips, O oh you, the doors of breath seal with a righteous kiss. A dateless bargain to engrossing death. Come, bitter conduct. Come, unsavory guide. Thou desperate pilot. Now at once run on the dashing rocks, thy seasick weary bark. Here's to my love. Oh, true apothecary, the drugs are quick. Does he feel guilt? Pain? Abandonment? He doesn't die for her, but just to escape his own pain. And is that love? Or is it to still live and to carry on her memory? Love isn't something that you find. It's something that you choose. And when you choose it, love will find you. Front and center.
Vincent? Your mom's name is Roxanne Stillwell. What? And she's looking for you. Valentina, I apologize a thousand times for the way I've treated you. I should have listened. Lost with a kiss. I died. What's here? A cup closed in my true love's hand. Don't want our story to end in tragedy. I left no friendly drop to help me out. Oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheath. Let me die! Neither do I. Whoever reads this, I mean every word. I love you. What do I mean by love? That love is patient, and I will be patient with you. Love is kind. and kindness I'll give to you. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. I will surrender my pride for you. Love does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects. It always trusts. And always hopes. Love always perseveres. Charity?
love. Never. Fails. Together. 